Hello everybody and welcome to a new game. As you can see, I'm playing the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, this is first video I'm making for this game. Might make more, but as you can see in the top right here, I'm level 14. So I have been playing for a little bit. I wanted to play the game first on my own without doing any video stuff and now I decided I will now that I have played a little bit and understand some things now I'll start recording I have played a few of the victims I haven't played any of the family yet so maybe I'll record that cause yeah I haven't played any of these yet but with the victims here I have played all of them except for Leland. Leland's the only one I haven't played. I don't know if I will play him. Maybe not. Not yet at least. But yeah. I got, I think Julie I have the highest level. Um, these are the perks I have. Um, yeah, I played Sony, Anna, Connie. But I think Anna is, I made a, as you can see I have a two here. This was the first, I guess, ooh, I have an extra attribute. Uh, uh, this is the first build I have, and then if I press X, I go to my second build. Which, I don't know why, but on my second build, I, like, put as, like, a lot into strength. Because the strength, um, I guess if you haven't played this game before, the victims have their one main i guess ability yeah abilities and perks so this uh black and white one is the victim's main ability they all get a different one and these three are the three perks you can choose that for your victim and you unlock new perks through this skill tree now all the victim skill trees are different i'm guessing the uh whatever family members also have a their own skill tree but yeah there's different paths you can take and like taking one gives you a perk like i went this way which gave me this perk and going over to here i got another perk and up here i got this one i think both of these i don't know if i'm using this one but i know i'm i'm using this one here so yeah up this way up to the left and I unlock these, and then you see here in the bottom left, there is the, I have zero skill tree points I can spend. As you can see right here, I sp skill point spent, I spent 23 on this person. If we go to Julie, I spent 47. Yep, going through the sk skill tree, and then Sony, I don't think I spent a lot, yeah. But anyways, they all have uh, five attribute things, kind of. The toughness, endurance, strength, proficiency, and stealth. The toughness is basically how much health they have and how fast they are at getting back up after being incapacitated. And the endurance their total stamina capacity, how quick their stamina drains and regenerates, their strength, which is uh, basically how long the family members are stunned from sneak attacks, the grappling effectiveness, and performing tasks like opening crawl spaces and disabling generators. Then to proficiency, I think proficiency and stealth are pretty good. Proficiency, how quickly victims complete skill and environmental interactions, like lock picking, item gathering, fuse box, pressure valve repair, and car battery disabling. Then stealth, victims really form various actions silently. So, yeah. I went with strength here because basically, um, there's three, or I guess there's three main items they are laying around the ground for victims to find. There's the, uh, like, lockpick. 
which can pick the locks out, out of the basement. Then there is a bone scrap, which you can use as described for the strength. You can use it to sneak up on a family member, which is the killers, and like you can attack them and then they'll be stunned. Or if you do it from the front, uh, you'll get into like a grappling mini game where basically I think you just have to like spam F on keyboard, but the higher strength the better you are at doing this. And I've got some perks here that will help me. So when I drop below 10, no, actually when I drop below 20% max health, I'll equip the bone scrap if I have an empty inventory space, which will be useful. I'll just, I'll get it. And then basically I can turn around, depending on the family member, like the um, leather face, it would probably be really hard to win that but like i think with the other ones you can win if whoever's playing the family member doesn't expect it because then you you basically can spam f before they realize that they're supposed to spam f i don't i don't even know what the family member has to do if it's a different mini game for them but yeah and then i have this uh skill here the grappler or a perk, I guess. Each button tap during a close encounter is worth more towards winning the struggle. Button taps are 15% more fact more effective. So yeah, I guess what it's called is a close encounter when you do the thing from the front. But yeah, I guess that's enough explaining for now. And I guess once I get into it, I can explain how the game works. Hopefully I don't die or something. But yeah, I will play as victim here. I'm playing Sony then. Here we go. Fam family house at dawn. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search into the nearby communities of Marlow and Chinatown will unearth new leads. Family and friends are urging anyone Stay with quiet and hidden. regarding her disappearance to find useful items. Forward. A series of home invasions throughout Bell County. Unlock exits. For a known fugitive, Omar Pauly, Escape the family. Native of Holland, Texas, was arrested in 1967. So yeah, we start like chained up here. Oh, whoa! And we have two. These are like the mini games. We don't want to. That little bar to the left. If we do hold E too much, it will. Is going on? Oh my God! We got me. Okay. Just gonna open this. There we 
go. Rex, let me see a door over here. So yeah, this is the bone scrap I was talking about. In these little piles here. Oh, sounds like someone someone's dying over there. Yep. Oh shit. Someone's dead already. Well. Wow. Find unlock two. That's what they are. Not lock picks or unlock tools. But, yeah, right now, Grandpa, whoever, from the family, is screaming. And if you move while he's screaming, oh shit, he will he'll get spotted for all the family members. Sounds like everyone's dying. Yep, everyone is dying. Oh shit. Latch, please. Spam this open. This is not good. Whoa. If you move quickly through those bone things. Can get spotted and stuff. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain while playing, so I guess this isn't really an explanation. I guess it's just gameplay. Keeps going to oh no. Okay. Oh, this dude's chasing me. Just keep your head clear. Eyes open. You can do this. I forgot what this guy's building. Oh, hello. Over here, Anna. There's no way out. Uh. Oh shit. You don't see me. Bruh. Perfect. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, please. Nope. Grapple. This is the grapple thing. Spam my creek. Let's go. We win those. Oh shit. Clear for now. I should move. This guy can hear noises and stuff through the walls. Oh. Avoid detection from grandpa.
grab one of these. Keep it together, man. What is it? Uh, two. Okay, there's only two two victims left. Me and this other guy. Oh no. Oh no. Grandpa level two. No way. The last person left. I don't think I'm making out of this one. Please don't squeak. Before I open that, I'm grabbing one of these. We didn't even- I'm the only person that made it out of the basement. Damn. Well, that was a uh, pretty, uh, pretty good, good first game there. How long was that? Um, oh shit. Uh, like a 20 minute, 20 minute game? Uh, hmm. 18 minute? Uh, yeah, it's a good, good place to end it there. Uh, one, one game in, uh, as Sony. So didn't even make it out of the basement. Barely. Entire, all the, all of, all the victims died immediately. But yeah, on that one there, maybe, yeah, up, uh, upload these alongside the Phasmophobia ones, probably, but, yeah, that's it, see ya.